for some reason, people keep asking how to create a text that rotates around an object. Now, I'm pretty sure there are plenty of tutorials on it, but why not make another one, right? So I'm going to show you how to make these quickly in the free version and also using the studio version, which includes the magic mask. All right, let's try to keep this short. The first thing you need is your clip. If your clip doesn't have any movement, then it's probably going to be a lot easier. If it has movement, you probably want to stabilize it or you will have to track your object around and that will just make things a lot more complicated. I'm going to cut this right here and then I'm going to open this clip in Fusion. Once Fusion opens, the first thing we're going to do is add a magic mask if you have Studio. If you're on the free version, then you want to add a polygon and create a copy of your media in and then use that as a way to mask the object that we're going to use. So in this case, it's going to be that building, right? So I'm going to put these on one screen and then you're just going to go around your object and create your mask until it's ready like this. All right, let's do it with the magic mask. So with the magic mask, we're going to do that, draw around. That's pretty good, I think. And then we can just drag these forward. All right, now we have the two portions. We have that mask and then we have these. Then we're going to add a plane right here and we're going to connect that there. Now we have these in the 3D space. We're going to need a renderer and then we're going to connect a render right here. Now we have both elements stuck on top of each other, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's add the text that we need. In this case, I'm going to add a text that's a normal text. I'm going to write here, aliens are coming. And we're not going to see anything on screen because I have to press 2 on this text. Here, I actually want to change these so that the resolution is a little bit different. I'm going to make these a little bit wider like that, and I'm going to make these smaller like that. And then I can actually just make this text a little bit bigger. Now for the font, you can just choose whatever font you're using on your project or that you like. So in this case, I'm going to use this impact one. Now let me pause for a moment. Even though you say that you love editing, I know that you wish that you were a little bit more efficient. I got something that I think can help you with that. You can probably see these right here behind me and it's actually blurry, but that's the page for the Suave bundle, which is the collection of over a thousand tools and elements that are built for the venture self. So make sure to go to bundle.suave.com to check out how this bundle can make your life easier. Let's continue with the video. There's two ways to do this here. You have the plane method, which is you add these to an image plane and then you add a bender node then you just have to increase the amount and then rotate the angle of your bending well it has to be in the x-axis and then rotate these to negative 90 and then you have that circle but sometimes it's a little bit more complicated when you do it that way so we can actually also add just a 3d shape connect that to the text and we're going to go to the shape and change that to a cylinder now our text is like that but it's pretty big we can increase the radius of these and then go to, to the transform section and make these a little bit smaller and now we can add these to the image plane right here so we can see both of them now the text is still a little bit too big so we're gonna make this even smaller now we can also just position our text where we want it to be and we're gonna use the rotation in these right here we're going to create a key from here at zero and then just all the way to the end. Maybe we're just going to do that. Maybe to the left. I'm not sure why it's disappearing like that there right now. That's good for now. We're going to press these so we can see this on the 3D space. And I'm going to have to move this a little bit so it's right there centered on our building that we have right here. If you want to adjust or add any more adjustments, if you don't want to do it here in the same one, you can actually just add another transform node and then use that transform node. But you have to make sure that this transform node has its pivot point right in the center of the other one. So we're going to have to go to pivot right here and move these a little bit so that we can sort of like be right at the center. And then it doesn't affect it in a really weird way. It's a little bit higher now, so we have to also go a little bit higher. Okay, that's good. And now we can move these around and make any adjustments and it's not going to look that weird. All right, so in this second transform, we can maybe add a little bit of a curvature. And I'm still not sure why this text is showing like that. Let's go to the render and see if that actually does anything. It seems that in the render section, 
it actually works fine so we're not going to worry about that right now now we have that but we can still make a little bit of, of an adjustment right here to make these a little bit smaller and adjust the position maybe we can adjust this second position now because we have added that pivot point and if we change that first one then we'll have to adjust that second pivot point again and it's just a little bit more complicated all right so that's basically it if you want to add copies like i did to add a duplicate right here duplicate 3d and then you can just add maybe three copies and use the offset and then also the size right here where is it the scale and then you're going to have to adjust this a little bit because the width the building seems to be not going in a straight line or something like that yeah how did i add that glow effect i went back here to the text then i added a glow make this a little bit bigger play around with these values right here and then you can add a second glow and make these a little bit smaller like that let's take a look that is a way too much we're gonna have to adjust this first one first like that Oh, we have to do a threshold and then maybe merge under. I think that's good. Looks like a like a interesting sign. Okay, now that's basically it, and we did that in a couple of things. Uh, in a few little notes, I, 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 there's still a few of them, but it's not that many. We can make these green, maybe just so that fits the alien style. Now, there's something missing still here, right? We can see the glow, but it's not that much. But there's one thing here that if we add at the end, which is a lens reflection, you can just set, click this up here. And now you can adjust all these settings right here. And that will sort of like add those glowy rays that, that are flashing text or neon text is showcased. So it adds a little bit of an extra touch. Now, there is one thing that I wanted to add, but that was missing and I couldn't figure out how, which is I wanted this text to cause a reflection on the building right here. And I haven't been able to figure that out yet because we have this in the 3D plane and in the 3D plane, we cannot really add a drop shadow that I know of uh, in a way that works and adding 3D lights was going to probably mess everything up because then you have to match these things with the actual scene so i'm not sure how to go about it but if you know let me know so i can make a little video about it as well all right that is it for this video i hope i'll see you in the next one here in suave bye